Helena leaned back in her chair, letting out a deep sigh as she closed her eyes. The day had been overwhelming, a relentless blur of tasks and demands. From the moment she had walked into the office, everything seemed to go wrong. Her boss was on her case about deadlines, her inbox was flooded with urgent emails, and her phone wouldn't stop ringing. By the time she got home, she was utterly drained, her mind buzzing with exhaustion. She just needed to talk to someone, anyone. Without thinking too much, she pulled out her phone and dialed her friend Sarah's number. Or so she thought. The phone rang, and on the other end, Charles was wrapping up a late evening at the bank. It had been an equally long day for him, full of numbers, clients, and endless paperwork. When his phone rang, he glanced at the unfamiliar number and hesitated for a moment. He wasn't expecting any calls, but something compelled him to pick up. Hello, he answered, curiosity evident in his voice. Charles felt an odd, unexpected flutter in his chest as he listened to the voice on the other end of the line. It wasn't the usual hurried greeting or a complaint from a colleague. Instead, it was a soft, almost melodic voice that seemed to carry a warmth he hadn't expected. Sarah, are you there? The voice asked. For a moment, Charles didn't respond. He wasn't Sarah, and he certainly didn't know who this woman was. But there was something about the way she spoke, something that made him hesitate before correcting her. I'm sorry, he said gently, but I think you have the wrong number. There was a pause, followed by a soft gasp of realization. Oh, I'm so sorry, she exclaimed, sounding genuinely embarrassed. Charles could hear the nervous laughter in her voice as she apologized again, her words rushed. Before he could say anything else, the call ended abruptly. He stared at his phone for a moment longer, wondering why that brief interaction had left such an impression on him. Charles sat in his car, staring at the now quiet phone screen. He wasn't the kind of person who usually held on to random encounters, let alone saved numbers from wrong calls. But something about that voice, it felt familiar, comforting, in a strange way. Impulsively, he saved the number under the name, the voice. He knew it was odd, even irrational, but the sound of her voice lingered in his mind. Days passed, and though he tried to forget about it, he found himself glancing at the contact list on his phone more often than usual. It wasn't long before he couldn't resist the urge any longer. One evening, after another tiring day at work, Charles picked up his phone and dialed the number again. He wasn't sure what he expected, but when she answered, he felt his heart race. Hello, the voice on the other end sounded cautious, and he realized she probably thought it was another wrong number. Hi, Charles said, his voice coming out a bit more confident than he felt. Helena's brow furrowed in confusion. The voice on the other end was unfamiliar, yet there was something about it that made her pause. She didn't recognize the number, and she certainly hadn't been expecting any calls from strangers. I'm sorry, who is this? She asked, her tone more guarded now. The voice chuckled softly, and there was a warmth in it that made her uneasy yet intrigued. You don't know me, but I feel like I know you, at least, I know your voice, the stranger explained smoothly. Helena's mind raced as she tried to place the voice, then it hit her, the wrong number she had dialed a few days ago. Oh, I see, she said slowly, still unsure of where this conversation was heading. Look, I'm not really interested in playing games, she added, trying to sound firm, but there was a hint of uncertainty in her voice. Before the stranger could respond, Helena ended the call, her heart pounding in her chest. Who was this person, and why did his voice feel oddly familiar? Charles stared at the phone, a slight smile tugging at the corner of his lips despite the abrupt end to the call. He understood her caution, but something inside him urged him not to give up. Helena's voice had resonated with him in a way he couldn't explain, and he wasn't ready to let go of that connection just yet. Over the next few days, he tried calling again, each time hoping she would answer. At first, Helena ignored the calls. She wasn't interested in engaging with a stranger, no matter how charming he sounded. 
But as the days went by, curiosity began to gnaw at her. Who was this man who seemed so determined to speak with her? Eventually, she couldn't resist any longer. She answered one of his calls, her voice a mix of frustration and intrigue. Why do you keep calling? She asked, unable to mask the curiosity in her tone. Charles took a deep breath before responding, because I felt something when we spoke, even if it was just for a moment. I know this is unusual, but I'd really like to get to know you better. Helena was taken aback by his honesty. His voice, calm and sincere, disarmed her in a way she hadn't expected. She found herself smiling despite her initial reservations. You're persistent, aren't you? She teased lightly, and Charles couldn't help but laugh. I guess you could say that, he admitted. That night, for reasons she couldn't fully understand, Helena decided to give him a chance. They began to talk, their conversation flowing more easily than she had anticipated. What started as a brief chat turned into hours of sharing stories, laughing, and discovering unexpected commonalities. Helena found herself enjoying their conversations more than she had expected, and before she knew it, night after night, they spoke until the early hours of the morning. Charles had a way with words that made her feel comfortable, like she had known him for much longer than a few days. As the nights passed, their conversations grew deeper, more personal, and Helena found herself looking forward to hearing his voice at the end of each day. As their connection deepened, they made an unusual decision, they agreed not to do a video call. It was tempting, of course, to put a face to the voice she had come to cherish, but something about the mystery felt, right. They both wanted their first meeting to be special, more than just another virtual interaction. It was a decision that made their bond feel even more intimate, as if they were building something real and tangible through their words alone. Each conversation became a small piece of a puzzle, revealing more about who they were, their dreams, their fears. Helena found herself opening up to Charles in ways she hadn't with anyone else. She had always been cautious, guarded with her heart, but there was something about Charles that made her feel safe. Charles, too, found himself thinking about Helena constantly, his mind often drifting to what their first meeting might be like. He couldn't deny it anymore, he was falling for her, even without knowing what she looked like. After weeks of building their connection through conversations alone, the day finally arrived when they decided to meet in person. It was a decision that both excited and terrified them. They chose a small, cozy cafe in the city, somewhere quiet, where they could talk without distractions. Helena arrived first, her heart racing as she took a seat at a table near the window. She had spent so much time imagining this moment, wondering what Charles would look like, how it would feel to finally meet the man behind the voice she had come to know so well. Every time the door chimed, her heart would leap, only to sink when it wasn't him. And then, it happened. The door opened, and a tall, handsome man with a gentle smile stepped inside. Their eyes met across the room, and in that instant, Helena knew it was him. Charles walked towards her, and she felt a warmth spread through her chest. All the nerves, all the doubts melted away as he smiled at her. Charles approached Helena's table with a confidence that belied the butterflies in his stomach. He had been just as nervous as she was, wondering if the connection they had built over the phone would translate into real life. But as soon as he saw her, sitting there with a soft smile on her face, all his fears dissipated. Helena, he said softly, taking her hand in his and pressing a light kiss to her knuckles. Helena felt her cheeks flush with warmth, a shy smile playing on her lips. Charles, she replied, her voice barely above a whisper. They sat down together, and to their relief, the conversation flowed as easily in person as it had over the phone. There was no awkwardness, no uncomfortable silences, just two people who had found something special in the most unexpected way. They talked for hours, sharing stories and laughter, their connection growing even stronger now that they were face to face. By the time the evening came to an end, they both knew that this was just the beginning. 
As they walked out of the cafe, the sun beginning to set behind them, Charles turned to Helena with a playful smile. I'm glad you dialed the wrong number, he said, his voice filled with warmth and affection. Helena laughed, the sound light and carefree, and for the first time in a long time, she felt truly happy. Me too, she replied, her heart swelling with emotions she hadn't anticipated. They stood there for a moment, both unsure of how to say goodbye. The connection they had built over weeks of phone calls was now real, tangible, and neither of them wanted the evening to end. Charles looked into Helena's eyes, his hand still holding hers. I know this might be moving fast, but, I'd love to see you again. Properly, this time, he said, his voice filled with sincerity. Helena smiled, feeling a warmth she hadn't felt in a long time. I'd like that too, she replied softly. Their evenings together became frequent. Each time they met, it felt like rediscovering a part of themselves they didn't know they were missing. They explored the city, shared meals, and found joy in the simplest moments, whether it was walking in the park, watching a movie, or simply sitting in comfortable silence. As the months passed, their bond only grew stronger. They supported each other through life's challenges, celebrated each other's successes, and found comfort in each other's presence. What started as a wrong number had turned into something neither of them had expected, something real, beautiful, and lasting. In the end, it didn't matter how their story began. What mattered was that they had found each other, and together, they were writing a new chapter filled with love, trust, and endless possibilities.